Hello guys, this is Mike Pado once again and we are back to our topical water analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, June 23 to 25, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. There's nothing serious to discuss right now about the weather in the Philippine Islands is still the same. We have the southwest monsoon and the uh, southwest to the surface wind flow across most parts of the country as you can see here from our latest graph set for today, Wednesday until tomorrow, Thursday. The southwesterly surface wind flow will continue to prevail across Panay, uh, Mimaropa, and the Bicol region, uh, bringing some cloudy conditions and some weak winds from the southwest with uh, low chances of afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. Uh, over the uh, Calayan Island group and the rest of Luzon, it will continue to be under the influence of the southwest monsoon, Ohabagat, so expect some... Rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon and evening. As you can see right now, there is some very strong severe thunderstorms affecting uh, provinces of central and northern Luzon. And it also includes the areas of uh, Batanes and Mabuhin Group Islands, so expect winds of 30 to 40 kph and some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, which is being enhanced by the uh, uh, frontal system or major front to the south of uh, Japan. This is a uh, stationary frontal system. That's the reason why for the past few days it's still there. And here comes a uh, upgraded tropical storm. It was once tropical depression 6W and it's been uh, named internationally by uh, Japan Meteorological Agency as Champi. It's a kind of flower in Laos and the system is now moving North northwest across the Western Pacific and still outside the Philippine air responsibility, but it continues to intensify. Right now, it has winds of uh, 75 kilometers per hour, as you can see here from uh, from the latest CIMSS uh, fast animation, the uh, tropical cyclone gaining strength as it moves towards the north. And uh, it is likely to reach severe tropical storm status in the next couple of days and or even become a uh, minimal typhoon briefly before it will uh, be absorbed by this um, stationary front within the next uh, few days. And here comes the uh, southwest monsoon. It's still uh, prevailing. As you can see here from the uh, afternoon uh, satellite animation, lots of uh, cloudiness. Uh, brought about by the localized thunderstorms produced by the southwest monsoon will be expected across various portions of central and northern zone and Metro Manila might be affected but only uh, some isolated areas of the metropolis but in the in the evening if there's a uh, localized thunderstorms brought about by the monsoon that will uh, develop it will bring lots of rainfall into that area uh, elsewhere Mm, we have the southwesterly surface wind flow here, some isolated thunderstorms across the Visayas. The Bicol region remains clear. And also along the various portions of Mindanao, there are some localized thunderstorms brewing as of this time. Now let's take a look at the uh, track of uh, Tropical Storm Champi. And for the next uh, 24 hours, it will continue to move towards the north-northwest. And it will start to recurve on the uh, afternoon of uh, Friday and on Saturday it may briefly become a typhoon as it moves or recurve towards the north northeast of over the open waters of the western Pacific Ocean so this is not a threat to our country as you can see here uh, if we use the uh, latest uh, Asian tracks these are all the Asian agencies monitoring the system and except for Pagasa, since it's outside the Philippine area of responsibility. So here's the uh, power line. Okay. Uh, so it's outside the power. So it won't affect any part of our country. As well as the computer models says that it will continue to move towards the sea south of Japan. And uh, here's the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Friday. 
as you can see here lots of thunderstorms will still prevail across the uh, portions of central and northern Luzon particularly the western sections of Ilocos region as well as the Batanes and Babuin Kubo Islands while moderate uh, chances of thunderstorms will continue to prevail across Visayas as well as local thunderstorms over the island of Mindanao particularly in the afternoon or evening Elsewhere across Palawan, Mimaropa, and Bicol, there will be some isolated uh, thunderstorms that may form within the next three days. So watch out for that. But this will help the farmers since for the past two weeks we've been uh, experiencing some dry conditions because of the uh, reach of high pressure over to the uh, Philippine Sea. But uh, so far it will change, particularly if we move into July. There might be a developing uh, tropical cyclone, but still at 50% chance um, on during the first week of uh, July. We're going to show you in the short while the global tropics hazards and benefits outlook. Now let's take a look first at the uh, wind forecast from the American model, courtesy of windy.com. By tomorrow, still the southwest monsoon will be... Uh, uh, will prevail across the uh, Luzon area and here comes the uh, tropical cyclone moving towards the sea south of Japan and uh, on Friday uh, the winds from the southwest monsoon will still prevail across the West Philippine Sea and the western seaboards of Luzon including the Batanes and Babuin group of islands while the rest of the Philippine islands will remain uh, quiet and some light winds from the south and southeast and before we leave you, here's the uh, Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. That's from the United States of America. And this is for the next two weeks. Again, for week one, valid today until June 29. Below average rainfall will still continue to prevail across the uh, uh, central and southern Philippines. Mm, so from Bicol, besides Mindanao with some isolated chances of thunderstorms and uh, on week 2 valid June 30 to July 6 there there might be a 50% or medium uh, confidence of a developing uh, tropical cyclone to the east of Luzon beginning uh, June 30 to July 6 so watch out for that we will keep you updated if this uh, potential uh, cyclone will uh, come to life or push through we're going to uh, give you the latest update on that. So this is uh, still at 50% confidence or moderate confidence, okay, based on the forecast from the Global Tropics Hazards and Benefit Outlook of the uh, Climate Prediction Center. So there you go. That's the latest for today, Wednesday until Friday. And we will be returning again in the next couple of days to give you more updates on the weather here in the Philippine Islands. And uh, before we leave you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, uh, Mr. Typhoon TV, and don't forget to click on the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest news and videos regarding upcoming tropical cyclones within the Philippine area of responsibility. So uh, from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag with a wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.